Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to this training session. In today's session, I'm going to be discussing day trading targets and exits. So we'll look at a number of slides, but we'll also go to the live charts and just discuss uh, some high probability targets. That is, when you exit a trade, when is the best time to exit? One of the things that we hear regularly is, you know, you've got to go for, if you're risking $100, you've got to target $200. Um, well, that's not always the case. And one of the reasons is you might have straight in front of you a brick wall. You might have a major reversal point, a floor pivot, a major high or low, swing high or swing low. So we're going to be discussing these points. Now, as we get underway, there is a risk in trading. Uh, as you're watching the recording, rather than me read the whole disclaimer, uh, please uh, feel free to pause the recording to read the disclaimer and just a very very quick advertisement uh, if you click on the description link below you can get hold of my free training manual where you'll discover more about some of my trading style and traders I've been doing this now for over 28 years uh, I'm a researcher and you name it I've probably seen it when it comes to um, uh, funds trading day trading swing trading I've got an enormous library um, uh, literally over 60 of these notebooks now of uh, notebooks of trading information and trading strategies and notes I've taken over over the years why is that important well I can save you years years and a small fortune along the way when it comes to indicators and trading strategies I've probably already have it I've got hundreds of them and this is just the uh, just the A's then we get to the B's okay uh, there's the rest of the A's B's now on the C's and D's and uh, strategies themselves so why is that important once again traders I've done the hard yards and just very quickly um, uh, first of all make sure you do subscribe to my channel click on the link below or the little tab or whatever it is my staff put it on for me so you can uh, keep up to date but for $197 traders you can get my entire program and if you visit my website you'll see how comprehensive it actually look I'm going to put myself out there and say there's nothing else like it because I include uh, all of my indicators over 200 hours of online video instruction no you don't have to watch it all all of my day trading strategies okay there's, look this is a ten thousand dollar program and on top of that I also give you as a bonus you can attend I run both live coaching sessions every week 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every Tuesday and Wednesday and I also run a live trading room uh, three mornings a week but what's included in the 197 is eight recorded uh, and they're live of course you can attend the live session if you miss the live session you can watch your recordings so you've got eight two hour sessions in the month if you decide to continue after that uh, it's $97 a month cancel at any time however you're not committing yourself to that at the start okay 197 gets you everything so go and visit my website uh, uh, and you'll be able to find out more end of advertisement let's now get into this now one thing traders uh, you might want to grab a notepad uh, and of course you can play this back because I'm not going to hold anything back here I'm going to really give you some really good stuff here I promise you that first of all when I enter a trade the first thing I ask myself or actually just before I enter a trade do I have blue skies ahead or is it going to be bumpy meaning have I got any support resistance areas in ahead of my trade because I may bounce or even reverse at these levels so this is absolutely critical that we understand where in the cycle we may be for an example are we on the first second or third wave in a move so we really want to know where we are but particularly what's in front of us now some of the most critical and uh, important uh, areas we need to consider are these and I like to also look at them as some of the best kept day trading secrets and some of these are what we call predictive and leading indicators and also price magnets now first of all floor pivots now 
every um, professional day trader uh, will trade the floor pivots and they're actually a predictive indicator why because so many traders trade them basically based on yesterday's price action now virtually every good trading platform will have floor pivots but some uh, remain uh, you know they they're a little bit dodgy meaning they're not quite up to scratch and you also want to have floor pivots that give you what we call the midline levels that's the 50% level between each pivot level they are very important because they'll act just as powerfully as a, as a strong support resistance area as your main pivots will now also when it comes to pivots there's um, an 85 to 95 percent trade incredible odds uh, I call it the pivot magnet trade over t28 uh, when you're trading with the trend into a pivot uh, generally you've got a good 85 percent plus trade on your hands but there's certain rules on some you'll avoid and also you've got to be close to the pivot you don't want to be for an example on the ES 15 ticks out okay you want to be a minimum or sorry a maximum of six to eight ticks out from the pivot but that's a little beyond what I want to discuss today but floor pivots uh, act as what we call price magnets but also support resistance areas so we'll target those uh, as uh, actual exits the other important area which is absolutely critical and I'll show you some examples we'll go to the charts after I go through a, through sl a few slides here is the open high low and close another indicator that basically is available for every trading platform they plot automatically and you can use those as both price magnets and major support resistance areas now these are number one and two they're, they're really zones are usually within a couple of ticks so sometimes you'll hit it spot on sometimes you'll fly through other times you'll miss them by a tick or two then you've got your major EMAs perhaps one of the most overlooked uh, free tools and they're really a leading indicator available free on every platform particularly for 200 EMA on your anchor charts we bounce off for 200 EMA every day we call it um, over t12 we bounce off it and you can buy into them and you can bounce off them and very very powerful to use as targets um, when you're trading now both day trading and swing trading then you've got with oil you've only got the, the areas on oil uh, your what we call your round numbers specifically relate to the Texas T um, and I will actually uh, and I've just actually minimized the chart so hopefully I'll remember to show you that because that's very important also then we've got our major swing highs and swing lows maybe the high of the day could be the low of the day um, could be a, a major swing in between they can act as very much as support resistance or reversal points so I'm going to give um, uh, many traders know of course is Fibonacci levels uh, for retracements and extensions for targets so your retracements you might use for a bounce point or a trade re-entry and then you've got extensions personally I prefer all of the above and this one here uh, over Fib levels however uh, don't be offended <laughs> for the fib fans of course there are many traders that, that love Fibonacci levels and they're predictive and they're a leading indicator then we've got something which virtually no one talks about it's what we call the overlay chart and which is fantastic for identifying uh, potential larger moves and all it is is overlaying some indicators from a higher time frame onto an entry chart and I will show you that as well because when you have a deeper pullback on an overlay chart on your entry chart so you've got a big deep pullback and you've got an entry point with the trend usually you'll have a much larger move so you can go for a larger target or a or a much yeah larger profit target or exit now looking at a couple of slides first of all 
we can use mechanical tools such as uh, the parabolic SAR, which um, Wells Wilder designed many, many years ago. And the SAR stands for stop and reverse. So say if we entered up here, now here's a classic case of um, a 200B, straight off the 200. And this is on the entry chart, not even off an anchor chart. And you can see how effective it can be, particularly if you ever, and we don't have great divergence here, but quite often we'll have fantastic divergence and a 200B. Now here we could trail all the way down here. You actually had it flip and stop here. Now the SAR stands, as I mentioned, stop and reverse, but realistically, unless you've got what we call angulation, that's called angulation. You really don't want to um, flip there or on that point there. You want to really perhaps have a re-entry, stay with the trend. But you can use your SAR to stay until you get the reversal point. Then you exit. Get back in, it flips, then you can exit. Here you can pick up some great moves, great moves. So um, the parabolic SAR is available on virtually every platform. Then we've got the ATR stop and flip, and this is a, uh, I've got this coded for TradeStation and NinjaTrader. And so with the ATR stop and flip, you can see um, where it actually plots up there, the first red uh, uh, dot there, and it kept you in all the way down until here. It kept you in all the way up here, you can exit there. Now, of course, these are just tools. You can use pure price action, which will tell you when to to exit here oh, and by the way here I've got Renko I'm using Renko charts but you can use it on tick time based charts range it, it really doesn't matter the strategies that I'm discussing here and it doesn't matter which market you trade whether it be stocks Forex or futures so here the ATR stop and flip can be great for setting your stop loss but also for going for your larger moves now here this is on the ES now there we've got a good 10 tick uh, move there now uh, 10 ticks is $125 now that there is probably a 20 tick move which is $250 uh, using the ATR stop and flip which is something we've we've had coded now another thing too with targets traders is I love to use my anchor charts and, and of course many traders hear about using anchor charts but most don't unfortunately because when we can learn how to identify a reversal in the market that's when we can identify a potential much larger moves and so on the way up we'll usually get a retracement and a trend continuation retracement trend continuation retracement trend and then we get our reversals now you can either trade those reversals of course and um, if we get a chance I'll talk about that but um, but as far as exit if you can get in and I'll show you a, a little tool you can use there are a couple of things there you can do you can then pick up the runners which will give you much larger moves in the market so when it comes to exit strategies there are lots of things you can be doing okay now if you're a fixed um, uh, say if you're a scalper let's start with a scalper the scalper is in and out fairly quickly uh, as I'm a scalper myself I rarely will trail I might um, say go for a larger target where on my uh, ATM I've got a fixed target yet if I can see say three or four ticks in front of me I've got a major area of support or resistance I might increase my target by two or three ticks now, if you're a single, uh, so most, sorry, most uh, uh, scalpers will work on a fixed target. Now, what if though you're wanting to go for larger targets, but you're trading with one contract? I recommend for one contract traders initially go for a fixed, char um, a fixed target. As you add your contracts, or, or you may then choose to go for your runners, but I love to get what I call the cash register ringing. Okay, so if you're trading five lots, or well, say if you're trading, uh, yeah, let's just say you're trading four lots, get two off at maybe six to eight ticks, depending on some of the things I'll show you, and maybe trail the rest. But this is the when then you can trail, um, uh, use your support resistance level. So let me just focus on a couple of things here. 
first of all what we want to do is generally target our daily highs and lows our floor pivots uh, our major EMAs and our daily uh, yesterday's open high low and close to me they're mechanical they're predictive so many traders trade them is that when you understand how what floor pivots are and exactly how they work you can make great money trading with the trend into your pivots likewise when you see you've got divergence off a pivot now's a great time to trade the reversal same with your open high low and close they work very similar to floor pivots okay and your major EMAs now when it comes to oil we've got our magic numbers 20 50 80 cent and our round numbers being 61 62 at the moment I think oils up there at 84 85 so whatever it is these are round numbers that act as both resistance support resistance and magnets we then go and use measured moves and a whole lot of other things which I'm, I won't go into today because this is we could spend hours on this we really can spend hours on this uh, and just why I'm here um, you can also hike and Ashi which is a system within itself in many ways uh, is great for your entries and exits we use a hard chart which is a uh, basically a hybrid of hike and Ashi and Renko and so that works uh, really well now another thing to consider is when to target larger moves with an entry chart we've got a rule on on the multiples that we use okay so to say for an example if I've got a two tick uh, I might have a two tick Renko uh, for my entry chart I would have a four tick would be my anchor, anchor chart one and a seven tick would be my anchor chart two do I have a great trending 21 EMA on that chart and a bounce if I've got a 21 34 55 any of these nearly always I'll have an extended move so when you're trading on your entry and of course we use the entry chart for um, uh, all of our actual trading but when we've got a great bounce off a higher time frame quite often then we'll have a great move let's have a look at a couple of charts and I'll give you some examples now uh, what I've got here this is just um, very simply uh, in here let's just start from here so uh, this is the 6e and the 6e is um, the currency futures contract and once again it wouldn't matter whether it is the ES the Nasdaq stocks Forex same difference okay what I want to point out here is this first of all see that blue line just there so that that's the prior days open and this down here and I'm recording this uh, 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 the day I'm recording this so we're basically live here and we're right up to price and look at that there okay so what we had down here was the central floor pivot known as the PP of a floor pivot see our price came down and you can see by my cloud we come down and we had a pivot bounce and that's what we call a PM trade and that's a PB a pivot bounce okay we bounce and see how then we hung around that pivot we then dropped down had some beautiful divergence a nice reversal and then we rallied up straight through the pivot now up here then uh, and it's now midnight uh, the 1st of February that I'm recording this midnight central standard time so I'm down under in Australia the moment so we can see price rallied up and we've hit the pivot right on let's just scroll back a little bit and have a look at some other examples now remember a few minutes ago I said to you that um, uh, we also look at the major EMAs being the 200 EMA now let's just say here um, uh, we had have entered a trade up here for whatever reason yet a little bit of divergence but so if you would have entered that as a target that makes a great exit point why because we bounce off for 200 every single day but the key point I want to bring up here is this note here how we bounce and we generally will go up and we'll hit the pivot now if I pull my chart down here and just compact here see this right there that white line and red what we've got there that's the white line is the prior days close 
and then we've got the s1 midline pivot remember I said to you that the 50% levels are very very important well you can see there that we've got a bounce point right at those so if I scroll down even further right up there at the R2 okay so that midline pivot and that blue line that cyan line that's a prior days high all of these are very important when it comes to day trading so we need to understand these levels because if we're trending down we need to know where our pivot levels are and one of the key reasons is that as we come down and here as we see we're coming down this becomes an extremely high probability trade and look what happened just there we bounce straight off it now you can um, look at this and say but Ray what about right back here we didn't qualify traders because we need to be a certain amount of ticks away from a pivot to for it to become a pivot magnet trade now something else I wanted to show you now this here is a MACD BB which can be fantastic for identifying reversal see the red dot there surrounded by yellow and see the green and the reason that's important is that if we want to go for the runners if we can pick up the eye and this is just a random spot by the way but if we want to pick up the runners if we can pick up a uh, and and if you're not familiar with a, a MACD BB it's a combination of a MACD and a Bollinger Band now a MACD is actually a trend following indicator and a Bollinger Band is a volatility indicator so combined you've got something that will give you volatility such as when we start to expand like that when we start to narrow uh, usually um, the volatility is dropping and we're looking for crossovers but we can also trade the entries see that little black dot just there and up there okay they are when the uh, MACD is crossed back into the band but then there's some other tools we can give we can uh, use to identify reversals why is that important because we can once again when it comes to targets go for larger targets so just here this is what I call this is my platinum MACD this is a zero lag MACD and what you'll see here that gave me a, a divergent signal where the MACD BB did not but I did have uh, the crossover signal back here so there's a lot of tools out there and that's what indicators really are traders they're tools tools for us to use to assist with our trading now look at this here see our price then rallied up so talking about exits once again and this is where you need to understand so say if you had have taken a trade just here and there's a number of reasons why you would have taken this bounce just above you is the central pivot the PP or known as the floor pivot see how we bounced and then we formed a little double top and if you had have put your stop just under this point as you can see you would have been stopped out if you were going for a two to one and this is where I say traders you need to clearly understand how to trade around major support resistance levels if you want your larger targets you've got to learn to get in earlier in the trend now just here we then had a decent pullback and look at this again okay so here uh, look at the 200 I mentioned to you incredible for support resistance and we rallied back up again and we're one tick off the central pivot let me show you something else I mentioned to you about the overlay chart so I've just uh, compressed here and I don't always have up the MACD BB I'm just doing some training with my members uh, on the MACD BB so I've just compressed that at the moment so what I've got here is once again this is just coincidentally on the 6e I trade uh, oil uh, the ES um, gold uh, the 6e the 6a I love which is the currency futures basically the forex market but as a CME contract rather than trading a spot market I prefer to trade the contracts here now the uh, CME contracts 
okay so let's just have a look at this what have I got just there this is called an overlay chart now what an overlay chart is is where I've taken this time frame here I've taken effectively the short-term stochastic uh, I've taken the long-term stochastic that I use and I've taken the 21 EMA and I've got that here on this chart and what we can see here is the red line is the 21 EMA from my anchor chart in a downtrend the blue line here is the long-term long-term stochastic is now rolled over and trending down so I've got the 21 so if I expand this for a moment I can see very clearly I'm in a great downtrend on higher time frames so when it comes to my super scope of these points up here there or there 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 and there that gives me ideal entry points now what I want you to notice here is this that that point there and that point there now this one note here we're over bought we're overbought and even here see we're overbought in this territory and see that little triangle there now over here we're oversold if you had events there you would have been stopped but look what we then had remember I mentioned to you that pivots will act as magnets and then support resistance levels now rather than actually in between my 80 20 level rather than have my short-term stochastic I've hidden it once I get overbought you can just see though see that uh, green and see the red that's the short-term stochastic there but I've hidden it in between the, you can't see it in between the 80 20 that white line is a two period RSI now Larry Connors was very is, is really quite famous for the two period RSI and as Larry has said if there's only one indicator I could have uh, when it comes to day trading believe it or not traders it's the two period RSI and if I was to overlay my short term stochastic with the settings I use see those triangles there and there it models my short-term stochastic exactly it's incredible how it works now um, there's been you know a number of articles a number of YouTube videos on and see that black line there and there now whether you should have that set up at 90 and 10 or 95 and 5 it doesn't really matter but the key takeaway with this is this when you're trading in the direction of a higher time frame say if you're short on screen space that is you've only got the one screen okay this is where uh, you can have price action what's happening here now I'm using need to trade rate an excellent uh, trading platform now you can do this on trade station and and other trading platforms okay now when you get a full pullback like this generally you'll get a larger move one thing no you won't get the move you won't get what we call the hook until the fifth candle or thereabouts so remember this is the higher time frame you will have more candles plot on an entry chart before you have a candle plot on a higher time frame so just remember this here will not hook until down here but you can see here and by the way we've got to be cautious when we sell right at a pivot now there's something else you can um, I want to just tell you about this um, let me find an example here's here's a great one here when you're oversold with your short-term stochastic or your RSI on your overlay chart like there or even here's a great example see that trade just there so you can see there I call that the RSI hook when you had that one appear see how I'm totally overbought that is what we call a loaded trade so is that one why because with the higher time frame my anchor chart you can see there that the 
21 EMA is in an uptrend for long-term stochastic is in an uptrend as is for short-term stochastic is over bought telling me I've got a very strong bias to the long side what has this all got to do with targets when I have a deep pullback like here usually it will mean I've got potentially a much larger potential move in front of me but what can happen is like we've got here we get a large move but we need to understand that if we've got an open high low or close level or say a swing high or low or a pivot in front of us we may very well bounce at that point so this is where we may even consider what we call front running now when you try so if you set up the RSI like see there look at the divergence so not only will you have to say divergence on a MACD remember there are a lot of indicators that will um, oscillate as it'll give you divergence signals you've got your uh, RSI you've got uh, the CCI you've got the percent R you've got your MACD uh, and you can even as you see they see that lower high 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 price great reversal signal see that one that's just there see that there look at that I didn't know how far that was going to go but see that there so you can use that as divergence as well now if I just increase this up here for a moment we can see here once again the MACD starts to trend up and here it gives me a reversal signal there again now in taking that reversal there are two key areas of support in front of me the 200 see how we banged on that there for a minute then we went through and we hit the pivot and then had a pivot bounce just very quickly because we're already up to 30 minutes as far as targets go what I've got here is CL I've just got a two tick uh, uh, chart here once again and we can see here this is the $79 a barrel just there so see how prices come down as a target so if I had have taken that trade just there and that would have been a, a beautiful entry and if you had an overlay chart set up here uh, you would have seen that that was a fully uh, just a great overlay chart but as we ground down here we then bounce straight off for $79 what I also want you to notice here is a confluence of levels we've got just here we've got a 20 cent level we've got a pivot we've got uh, the R1 just there and that blue line navy line there that's the prior days open so we need to learn how to trade these levels now once again I want you to notice here we had a lower low in price little bit of divergence see that there to there first of all you had some here your best divergence trades traders you need to remember are on or off major support resistance levels so here we had a bounce up here we had some great divergence and see just there our Mac sorry our, our MACD BB I nearly said MACD um, alone but a MACD BB see that red signal there we've rolled over I've got what we call double divergence now's the time to go for a larger move now remember I said have I got blue sky in front of me what I do have here is a lot of potential support now we did punch through it and we've now got this potential low and we missed that by two cents on oil okay and of course we're in a very quiet time now at some um, uh, 12 41 a.m. Um, uh, central standard time so London does not open for another three hours yet so it's still got uh, some time to go and the volume will really start to uh, pick up so traders it's very very important that you learn where to exit your trades because there are times where you might have an eight tick risk but you only scalp for four ticks but it's a 95% trade because you're just out from the pivot or you're just out from a, a what we call a round number on the other hand if you can identify 
and learn to identify your reversals and perhaps even uh, your first pullback after a breakout then is the time to consider larger moves there's lots of things we can do none of these by the way are rocket science it's just a matter of learning them and just in closing that's what the day traders fast track program is but rather than just show you all of this on video this is why I say attend my coaching classes because you can type in questions or you can email them say if you can't attend one of my live sessions you can type in the question I cover them <clears throat> in the coaching session then you can play it back but not only that traders I'm teaching you where to enter where to place your stop loss and where to exit and a whole lot more so um, you can join become a member of the, the day traders fast track program the link is in the description below so traders are uh, and members and I should have said something at the start to so any members watching this ignore the the advertisement here and um, but uh, I'll see you of course in the classes <laughs> but uh, traders thank you very much make sure you subscribe to my channel become a member let me train you how to day trade traders I love day trading see you in the next video